What's up, my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade, back with another Division 2 video. And today, my friends, I just want to take some time and go over some of the things going on in our universe right now. Obviously, I want to take a minute and talk about, you know, the Heartland closed testing that's been going on. I'd like to talk about a few things that are going on in the game right now, as well as try to answer some of the questions you've sent the channel. Now, if you happen to be new here, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family and if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all do me a favor my friends hit that like button it really does help us out finally as most of you know we have giveaways here and our current one is for a playstation 5 and all you need to do to enter is either subscribe here or follow us on twitter either way is fine the winner will be announced on December 31st of this year, and as I've mentioned in previous videos, watching our content is not a requirement to win. Only watch the things here you may enjoy. That's why you have the option of entering via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. So as most of you know by now, the next round of closed testing for the Division Heartland is currently happening. Or I can't even say currently happening. I know it started last week. I have no idea how long it's going on for. I've been getting some messages. I personally was not, you know, picked for it. I've never done one of these closed tests. I hope to one day. But again, as I said, it did start last week. One of the things I want to make sure I mention as we move on is none of the visuals I'm about to show you in this video, whether it's the last one or ones I'll show you in a second, were directly sent from the game itself via social media. You know, these are from people who have been playing the closed testing, they're from different media outlets online, so in my opinion, take everything with a grain of salt. And keep in mind when I say that, I'm not referencing how valid the information is. I'm talking about the fact that, look, we all know that with this game, or in any game really, that things can change really fast. So as always, as soon as the game validates any of this or we get any more information, I will definitely pass it along. With that being said, this is the information we have at this point. And again, this is from people who are working on the closed test. You can see they got, you know, a description and it reads the following. Tom Clancy's The Division Heartland is a free-to-play survival action multiplayer shooter set in small-town Middle America. Fight together in a 45-player PvEVP storm operations against a group of dangerous rogue agents, an aggressive faction known as the Vultures, all while surviving a lethal virus. Prep the battlefield in PvE excursion operations, complete the PvE missions, gather gear, activate alerts, and prep the battlefield in excursion operations. Progress and adapt to survive, play as one of six agents and select between three classes each match all with their own perks and skills so again this is something that a lot of people are going to sell you know it, it just sounds really really enjoyable and once again to be abundantly clear this has nothing to do with division 2 content Many of you have reached out to the channel over the weekend asking if this is the new game mode that is going to be introduced into The Division 2 in February. And the answer is no. The Division Heartland and The Division 2 are two totally separate games, so one thing has nothing to do with the other. Now, in regards to the actual testing itself, so first of all, I want to point out a tweet that just came out early this morning, and it's from a site or, you know, whatever. It's from a, an account called PlayStation Game Size 2. Now, they are a sub-account of PlayStation Game Size, and they're known for letting us know when something is actually uploaded to the PlayStation database. Now, the reason that's relevant in this conversation is due to the fact that typically when something gets onto the PlayStation database, it means it's about to go live. And I don't mean within a day, it could be within a week, whatever it is. But typically, you know, anytime, let's say there's a DLC or something coming out for a game that's already existing, you find it or you can see that it was uploaded to the database days or a week before. Once again, within the last hour, I've been getting messages on Twitter from different people talking about this like hey the game is about to go live they're going to surprise us let's pump the brakes i have a feeling that the only thing that's going live is the closed testing for console i think they've moved from pc over to console now so again let's just wait till we hear something don't get like too overly excited as yet Keep in mind that the last close test we had was probably, I think, about six months ago, something like that. And at that point, it was only for PC users. However, now they are segueing into consoles as well. So hopefully those of you that signed up, including myself, we will hopefully get an email soon. Next, my friends, I'd like to talk about the current seasonal replay going on right now. Now, as all of you know, we're in season seven, which is a replay of season four. And many of you are wondering, you know, when would the season actually end? Let's say you haven't finished, you know, the 
seasonal progression in the reward track and you want to make sure you get everything you want you know before the season actually ends now in theory we have about two weeks of the season left we have the final league that starts tomorrow then we have the final global event that starts a week after that now i don't know if that's exactly when the season's going to end you know they may extend it a little further however i strongly suggest finishing the season within the next two weeks and i bring that up for two reasons first of all you want to make sure you get to level 100 in the season before the end of these two weeks reason being is anything in this game that is a guarantee from different exotics to named weapons to items certain things like that you want to make sure you can get when they're actually available to pick up and the main reason i say that has to do with the fact that a lot of you have reached out to the channel in regards to that we never got an actual seasonal two replay we wound up skipping that season and because of that many of the named items and many of the exotics that you you know missed before you weren't able to pick up and a lot of you are wondering are they going to introduce that in further seasons so as most of you know by now and again this is for new and returning players that all of the items that were in the seasons are now in the general loot pool so you can farm them you know using targeted loot going to the summit going to the dark zone whatever it is you want to do with your game however the question is are they going to reintroduce those as guaranteed drops in further seasons and at this point we have no idea the game has mentioned with this new content in February we're getting new manhunt targets we're getting new seasons we're getting a bunch of new stuff now will they put those other exotics and named items somewhere in that reward track with the new things as well possibly and as always as soon as I have that info I will pass it along and as I start to wrap this video up um, you know my opinion is that we are going to be getting a lot of information in a steady stream between now and February when this new content comes out you know and our timeline goes as follows you know we we should be getting the next annex initiative which is that breakdown of what we can expect in february that next episode should be coming up within the next few weeks and then after that we have all the stuff happening in december now the stuff i'm talking about for december is you know whatever that new in-game activity is going to be we'll have that we're also going to have a brand new apparel event no replays that's going to be something new that will get us into january with january we're going to be expecting you know a pts for the actual new content in february that's when they'll also announce what that new content is and then February will be here and we get all the good stuff with all that being said my friends I'm going to start to wrap this video up as always I want to take a moment and thank you all for your continued support of this channel especially during the slow time I mean the fact is we haven't had anything new in this game for a year and while I'm trying not to get too hyped up of what the future is going to be I do have high hopes and I really think they're actually going to pull off a lot of the stuff they say they are as I mentioned at the beginning of this thing if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button we would love for you to be a part of our gaming family if you enjoyed this do me a favor hit that like button it really does help us out but most importantly take care of yourselves be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon thanks again everyone